A 75 year old Auburn woman kept her cool while she says two burglars were in her basement. WMTW News 8's Jim Keithley has her story. The homeowner says that someone tried to break into this same house hours earlier. And when she heard noises in the basement, two minutes before midnight, she knew they were back. This burglary victim is afraid to show her face for fear the burglars who invaded her house might come back. She told us how she found a screwdriver and an open door about 6 o'clock yesterday morning. She knew someone had tried to break in. Family members spent the day installing new locks, securing windows. But just before midnight, she heard rummaging around in the basement. I remained as quiet as I could, and I shut my bedroom door and I locked it. I picked up my cell phone and I walked around where you're standing, and I laid on the floor. And I opened up my phone and I dialed 911. Police say 34-year-old Nicholas Sands and 38-year-old David Giason, both of Auburn, were trying to get through the door that leads from the basement to the first floor hallway. And they made a big noise when they broke the cellar door. And I said, did you hear that? And she said, yes. I said, they're in my house now. Police say they were likely looking for money and jewelry, ransacking two other bedrooms. Police arrived within minutes. They sent in their most powerful ammunition, Dutch, a trained police dog. It didn't take long before the two men made a beeline for the back patio door. They ran right into the arms of waiting police officers, where they were cuffed and charged with burglary and criminal mischief, a night this feisty woman won't soon forget. I'm still scared to death. This has never happened to me before, and, and I hope it never happens again. Um, it leaves a mark on you. Family members say they are so proud, saying that she did everything she was supposed to do to stay safe. Meanwhile, the woman would like to thank the police officers that responded, and especially the dispatcher who helped coach her through this terrible ordeal. In Auburn, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.